Well, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, my name is Clay Bowman. I'm the Director of Business Development for Fastway. Uh, and if you'll go to the next slide, BJ. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about digitizing your construction materials sales and integrating them with a Viewpoint ERP system. And again, I'm Clay Bowman. I'm, I'm with Fastway and accompanying me today is BJ Lusk. He's a regional sales manager with TAC Insight. So he's gonna be uh, actually showing us some software here shortly and walking through some of that process. So again, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Uh, we'd like to tell you just a little bit about Fastway. Uh, if you'll go back to that previous slide. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna be talking a little bit about Fastway and what it means to be a Viewpoint strategic partner and how that data interaction flows between both products. Uh, we're also gonna get into the cloud computing discussion and talk about going paperless with all the talk and discussion about the e-ticket today. And uh, then we'll get a little bit into the integrations for Viewpoint, uh, Vi Vista and Spectrum Accounting. So uh, feel free to hover at the bottom there and fill out the question and answer form. And at the end, we'll open up uh, any questions. Uh, we'll open the floor up for your questions and try to get them answered for you. And if for some reason we can't, we'll definitely follow up with you for sure. <clears throat> so what is Fastway? Fastway is powered by a company called TAC Insight. Fastway is the product, TAC Insight is the software holding company. And TAC, TAC stands for Transportation, Aggregate and Construction. So obviously uh, that's our focus. And Fastway, the product is a cloud-based scale and ticketing <clears throat> management program for the bulk materials industry. So anything that is a rock or is sand, dirt, gravel, road construction, this is our focus. Uh, we also uh, focus heavily on the construction materials and the movement of materials. So anybody that is actually a trucking company in that industry is something so somebody else that we would also serve. Uh, we're one integrated platform. And I think it's important to mention, just to kind of give you a background on Fastway, uh, Fastway was a client server application in the past uh, for about 30 years. And about five years ago, the principals of the company decided to re-engineer the platform and completely rewrite it in a modern Microsoft Azure cloud platform. So you might've heard of Microsoft Azure. Uh, we chose to go with that platform. Uh, so there might be Amazon. So that would be your Coke Pepsi analogy. Uh, but we definitely feel that Microsoft was a, a good play for us when we rewrote our platform. It is one integrated system. We handle ticketing, uh, your financials and, and the accounting side of the business. Uh, of course, that integrates very well with Spectrum and Vista. Uh, we do full dispatching for trucking and outside trucking outside of your organization, third party. Uh, we have a full suite of mobile apps. We do business analytics for dashboarding. So for folks that are just looking for high level information on the business, we do a very good job with that. Uh, we have a full e-ticketing suite and uh, we do a, a number of third party integrations. So. Uh, it's all about where the data lives nowadays, and we like to send the data from Fastway wherever it needs to go. So again, we're a Viewpoint uh, strategic partner, and we're very happy to be here with you today. We appreciate your time. Uh, we are a top 16 integration partner, and we've worked very hard to uh, build an integration that really moves a lot of data around both systems. So this partnership, the partnership aims to bring cloud-based tools to Viewpoint customers such as yourself. So let's talk about cloud computing just for a moment. Uh, we're really transforming the business with our platform. Uh, the digitization of construction materials is really about integrating the producer, the hauler, and the contractor into a single ecosystem. So that's something that's uh, in my 23 year career uh, has not really been able to be achieved because of the legacy technologies involved and the bolt-ons that have to occur to actually uh, get to that, um, that type of finish line. So as you see here, 
uh, we have a cloud in the middle and we're really connecting all this together. And the beauty of it is the APIs that we've built with uh, the Spectrum ERP is, and, and, and the Viewpoint ERP is something that is extraordinary in the sense that uh, whether you want the order to live in Spectrum or whether you need the pricing or the job costing to live there, it can live simultaneously in fast way uh, with our beautiful APIs that we've built between both products. <clears throat> so we'll talk just a moment about legacy systems, try to give you a little insight right into what you might be using on the bulk materials management side. Uh, we, we are uh, the only true cloud-based built from the ground up vertically integrated platform in the industry. Uh, so, but legacy systems, they, there's a set of economics associated with them. They are very powerful. Uh, I used to actually represent uh, a, a very large company uh, where we sold these types of products into the industry. They're, they're excellent tools, uh, but you know, they're beginning to age too. So when you look at what it takes to not only set up initially uh, these types of platforms, but then to maintain them over time. Uh, expansion is, a, is an issue. You know, do you really need a laptop today uh, with a VPN connection to connect to a server, to connect to an ecosystem to really get the information you're looking for? Would it be nice, you know, just to have an app at your fingertips that can give you the information that you're looking for? Uh, just in a, in a few seconds, as opposed to going through all this connectivity. Of course, you know, the, again, there's a set of economics associated with uh, the distributed network and, and trying to get all of these different sites tied together, bringing them back into a database server where all the information is stored and then connecting that database server to the application server. So uh, it really can be difficult and uh, the network infrastructure can be very expensive. Now, with Fastway or cloud-based platform, it kind of changes everything. So we're able to connect everything together simultaneously in this vertical environment. And so there are no servers or hardware to maintain or manage. There's no database licenses. Uh, you roll the entire operation out on one single uh, instance. And also, the, the updates are incredible, where when you looked at the previous slide, I'm sure that some of you can relate to the scheduling that you need to go through to roll out these types of updates across your organization. Uh, with Fastway, these updates, they're just autonomous in the environment. Now, companies like yourself can control when those updates come, but when the updates are ready, they roll out all of the individual site locations and the PCs that are running the site apps are updated instantaneously. The web portal is updated instantaneously and it's, you just keep operating and you never look back. So um, it really streamlines the IT footprint and, and their ability to support your operations. It doesn't by any means eliminate their need to be a part of the operation, but it drastically reduces downtime and the time it takes for them to get operations back up and running when there's a critical event. Um, again, we have this app-based simplicity where we can give tons of data to, to people that need it when they need it, whether it's a truck driver, that's just an ancillary truck driver to the operation, but instead of carrying around a bunch of paper tickets, now he has an app where he can, he can control his own tickets and he can go back in, in his history and look at those anytime he needs. The same holds true with a contractor that might have a relationship with a producer where that contractor has a portal login and he wants to take a look at the tickets that he did yesterday or for this particular job a few weeks ago. And so all of this data is simultaneously uh, available to contractors and producers at the same time. Uh, you know, when you move to the cloud, you eliminate the need for CapEx. Uh, you really move into an operational expense as opposed to a capital expenditure, uh, looking down the road for depreciation or even uh, considering, you know, having to replace that hardware over time, the server farm and, and things of that nature. So again, the cloud is just centrally tying all of this together. So, Paper's a big problem and it has been a problem for a long time. 
uh, I'm reminded of uh, a, a, a task that I went through at one point where we, we were trying to eliminate paper for a very large trucking company back in 2014. And using the cloud, we were able to uh, lower their average days of billing on 2000 daily transactions from 10 days to one. So the cloud's powerful and it's been powerful, but our ability to harness it and utilize it and get it in our operations is, is, is something that's not coming as, as quickly as we'd like. But uh, again, you know, how do you handle paper in your operation? Uh, some of you might have uh, document and imaging systems. They're very powerful and they can help quite a bit. But uh, you know, if you don't, there is a data lag, data lag associated with the hand king of tickets. I was talking to someone uh, just yesterday, a potential client, and they said that you know they had to hire two people just to keep up with their growth to enter these tickets that they were generating in the field. So it, it can be very cumbersome and it can be very costly. Uh, there is definitely a set of economics associated with this inefficiency. Uh, you know, solutions in the past, they are inadequate. You know, when you look at the bolt-ons that you have to add to your existing systems, you know, it seems like it's one product stack after the next. So, well, we need to digitize the paper. Well, you need to add this product stack. Well, we need to integrate it here. Well, you need to add this product stack. Well, we need to report in a more powerful way. Well, you need to add this product stack. Well, with Fastway, it's one vertical platform, like I've mentioned, and it's all tied together and accessible uh, with one login. All you need is one login and you have access to the areas of the system that you need ha to have access to. Um, again, double entry is always wa a waste of time and energy. And so getting rid of paper as fast as we can in the industry is going to be very beneficial. So we want to build an integrated data supply chain between the producer, the contractor, and the hauler. And that's really, you know, that's really the, uh, the magic of what Fastway can offer your business. Uh, it, you know, and it's going to depend on, on what your business might, might be um, associated with. So if you have a trucking component of your business as, as a contractor, um, and then a producer is using Fastway, well, that's a wonderful marriage because those two products uh, talk, will talk to each other and information will flow uh, between the producer and between you, the contractor or the trucking company uh, very seamlessly. So uh, as we build more customers into the marketplace, this is something that will bring more and more benefit as people move to the cloud in general. Uh, Real-time data shared between all the partners, unlimited user access. I think it's something important to, uh, to mention, you know, I, I used to uh, get a few calls uh, here and there over the years and, you know, a number of users would have to be added to the system. And sometimes it's cumbersome to go through that process and get those licenses cut. And so with Fastway, it's, it's not that way. It, it's an open platform. You can have as many users as you want, whether you're a producer and you have uh, haulers that you want to be users on the system or contracting partners that you want to be users on the system. Everybody gets a, gets a login and it really doesn't cost any extra money for you to do that. There's, there, there's no licensing there. Um, there's a lot of efficiency gains when we do this, when we, when we merge all this data together and get everybody on the same page. Sounds, uh, sounds good to me. Uh, I, I've seen it's, uh, I've seen its impact in the industry. So uh, the more we can move towards this, the better for all of us. And we were gonna lower your operational costs by moving to the cloud, obviously eliminating licensing and servers and server upgrades and all these types of things. We wanted to talk a little bit about the e-ticket today and, and the e-ticket is the keystone, uh, right? For a fully integrated digital workflow. So, you know, the producer needs an e-ticket or needs a ticket, right? The producer needs a ticket, the DOT agent needs a ticket, the hauler needs a ticket, the customer and the contractor. Everybody needs access to this information. The interesting thing is, is that even with legacy systems, you know, when you cut a ticket at the scale, that ticket is electronic, okay? Well, that electronic ticket now needs to go somewhere, but unfortunately we're still printing paper, right? We're, 
we're pulling up to printers, we're, we're pulling a ticket off, we're uh, driving off and, and getting a, a, a trifold ticket signed and we're trying to get all those tickets distributed to the right people. Well, if even in these legacy environments that aren't cloud-based like Fastway, if you want to create, you want to take an already existing digital ticket and then get that ticket out into the cloud so that you can create this environment that we're all talking about today, well, it takes another product. It takes another heavy lift. It takes a lot of coordination. And um, that can happen when you know, you're not taking into account building your product out from the ground up. So I think it's important to mention that, you know, just as an industry guy, someone that's been involved in the software industry my entire career in construction materials, uh, it is a, a really refreshing thing to be part of an organization that has these powerful APIs that can pass this data between these powerful systems such as Spectrum and Vista but then also create these environments where all the data is flowing in between all the different partners. So this is efficient and uh, it's economically viable for everyone. And um, assets that are digitized can be managed by all parties in real time. So I cut a ticket at the scale, the truck driver gets a digitized ticket on his proof of delivery app, the DOT agent has the same ticket coming to him in the field on his app and everybody's uh, really singing the same, they're whistling Dixie all together, so. So going paperless, we just wanted to talk just for a second uh, about the life of an e-ticket. Again, I don't wanna belabor anything here, but, but again, the ticket's created generally by the producer and then that data is stored you know, if you have a legacy system in a database and from the beginning producers have electronic ticket data, just what I mentioned a minute ago. Now the e-ticket needs to get sent somewhere. So it has to go up into the cloud or it has to transact out somewhere. And Fastway is an example of that integrated cloud system. Now there's other tools that can be used. So, you know, Fastway is an open platform. So we have open APIs. We're very friendly, obviously, uh, because of that, we're a, we're a viewpoint integrations partner. But if you have other systems that you're using to say dispatch, or you know you have other uses for other software components that might need ticket data, then Fastway has the ability to handshake very easily with those platforms as long as they have those modern APIs as well. And then we talked a little bit about proof of delivery. I, I personally believe that proof of the de proof of delivery applications are the are the future of our industry in general, because again, if we can digitize every ticket and get that ticket in an application where I can I can depend on that driver to use that technology to get a signature or or do a drop at a geo location, I know that that delivery got delivered. And now everybody gets the same result at the end of the day. As soon as the signature is signed on glass, all of that information is available to everyone at the same time. And of course, you know, it comes back around to the ERP integration that we've been talking about in this presentation, especially with Spectrum and Viewpoint. And, uh, you know, we, we pass that data very, in a very friendly way between these products. So again, um, to talk about the actual data, you'll see over here in the picture at the bottom at the bottom right of the slide, you'll see the arrows going both ways. So in Vista and Spectrum, you know, if you need the pricing to live there, then that pricing at the same time can live in Fastway. So they have this bi-directional simultaneous relationship. Uh, if you need the job costing to live in Spectrum, whatever it is that you, you, you want a particular component to live in Fastway, it can shake hands over here in the Spectrum platform. So very important to realize, you know, the flexibility that's involved with such a product like Fast, Fastway and the integration with something like Viewpoint. So again, here's a, 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 a another uh, image that we wrote up for you to give you a quick view of, you know, customers, jobs, products, they can live in Fastway or Vista. And of course, uh, any other piece of information, job costing, accounts receivable, 
that can all live and, and move at the same time back and forth between both products. So now I'm gonna hand it over to BJ to uh, do a product demo of Fastway. It's gonna be a quick overview. We're not gonna get in the weeds or anything, but we're, we're gonna give you a quick view of the platform and uh, help you understand how it works. All right, thanks, Clay. Just give you, uh, well, well, first of all, I appreciate everybody, appreciate everybody joining us today. Uh, take your time out of your day to, to look at Fastway. A little background on me. So I worked for a uh, construction company here in North Alabama, where I lived for 11 years. Uh, we had four quarries, a couple of asphalt plants, and we were doing things the old way. And, and the old way just finally uh, just proved to be inefficient. And uh, we searched out for a new ticketing software. I was in charge of finding a new software and implementing that. And we chose Fastway. So I actually was a Fastway customer before I came to work for Fastway. And when we used Fastway, we found that it just it was just a blessing for us to be able to find it because it really transformed our operations and really moved us into the, the 21st century, I guess you could say, uh, and just fell in love with it as the, the product, got to know the product, got to know the people at Fastway and, and uh, knew that I wanted to be a part of that. So I talked to them, they brought me on board and here I am today uh, in sales for Fastway and just really, really loving every minute of what I do. I do apologize for my yellow tent. I'm in the process of moving, so I've got things shoved around so the lighting is not what it, uh, what it should be typically for, for me being on camera. So what you see here uh, on your screen right now, this is the ticketing app. This is what your scale operators would see when they're creating tickets at the quarry or quarry or wherever it may be. I do think it's important to understand that this app right here sits locally on the computer at the scale house. Okay. It's, it's not web-based like the, it's not like the web portal where you go to a website and log in. It's a, it, through the Microsoft Windows store. It's an app that lives there and then you download it, put your credentials in and go to, go to town ticketing. The reason we do it that way is because if you ever lose your internet connection, we're still going to be able to create tickets offline. And then as soon as you regain your connection to the internet, we're going to be able to push those tickets back up to the web portal. Okay, so that's why we do it the way we do it is to give you that flexibility of, hey, I lost my connection to the internet. That's okay. I'm still going to be able to create tickets. As soon as I regain that connection, then we're going to transfer everything back up to the portal. Okay, and I am going to show you how to create a ticket real quick, just very quick, not get into the details, but I do want to point out a couple of things on the screen before I do that. I do want you to realize right here, this will come into play when we go back to the portal. My next ticket number is going to be 8700025. So I'll try to remember that, remember that number too, and we'll come back to that. Also too, I'm connected to the scale. So you can see a truck sitting on the scale right now waiting for me to create a ticket for him. So he's probably getting impatient. Uh, waiting for me to create that ticket. Also too, we're gonna be able to connect to an IP camera and you'll see that image here when I create a ticket. So if you've got a camera, you need to point at the truck when it's on the scale, we can connect to that. And also to get a signature of the driver if we need to do that. So let me create a ticket real quick, just to show you how fast uh, that can be. And, and I, I'm not as fast as some people. We'll do that right there. Okay, so now I've got all the information entered right there. I'm going to grab my weight. And so when I hit enter, I'm going to grab the weight, but I'm also going to grab the picture of the truck on the scale. So there we go. And there you go. There's a lovely picture of, of our um, office. That's actually our office in, in Knoxville, Tennessee, looking out over Market Square downtown. So we've got the picture right there. I'm not going to worry about a signature, but just know that we could put a signature on that ticket as well, a digital signature on that ticket. So when I hit print, now remember we talked about, this says print, but remember we talked about Fast way we create digital tickets first. Okay, we don't print a ticket, re-digitize it, and then upload it. We create a digital ticket, and it's up to you whether or not you want to print it. Most people still want that printed copy at the scale house, but we do have the tools to be completely paperless if you want to. So I'm going to hit this button to create the ticket here, and if you'll notice when I do, it's going to say one unsynced record right here, and then that's going to quickly go away. So let's hit print, one unsynced record, it's going to go away, I promise. There we go. It went away. So that means that ticket is now transferred up to the web portal. Okay. Now, if you were to lose your connection to the internet, that number is going to keep building one, two, three, four, five. And then when you regain that connection, it's going to transfer back up to the portal. There's also something you can do right up here 
uh, in the top right, this sink right here, this pulls everything down from the portal and pushes everything that's all the tickets right here back up to the portal. If you want to do that at random times, you can do that throughout the day. So I just wanted to in, insert one item here, BJ, to make sure it's clear. So this is the distributed application. It could be in the field. It could have a scale associated with it. But also, if you're moving dirt, if you're doing anything, you don't have to have a scale. You could have a distributed system out in the field. And as long as it has a, a 4G connection or anything like that, then all of those distributed uh, uh, scale houses or job sites can then connect to the cloud and get all that data back up. Exactly. Yeah, we, we, we don't have to connect to the scale. You could use this and just do a low count or yards or something like that. But also, too, we have some mobile ticketing applications that you could put on a, a tablet or a phone to, to do ticketing as, as well. Okay, so we're going to remember that ticket number, that 870025, and we're going to come back to the portal here and see that in just a second. So this is the web portal. This is where everything lives. Okay, Clay talked about having unlimited user access to this web portal, and that's true. If it's a customer, if it's a truck driver, a hauling company, your own office personnel, anybody can have access to this web portal. Now, they're only going to see what you allow them to see, so a customer is not going to be able to see other customers' information, only their information, and then your office staff can have different user roles to only see certain information. Maybe you don't want them to see pricing or something like that. We can scope those users down to specific roles and permissions. OK, this is uh, the dashboard here. So if you'll notice when I hit refresh, that number 12 on total load should go up to 13 because I just created a ticket. And there it is. Now, it, it didn't take that long for it to get here. It just took that long for me to hit the refresh button right there. But you can see the real time access to the information that's available to anybody. And remember, too, this is available anywhere that you have a connection to the Internet. So if it's at the office, if it's at home, if it's on the road, on vacation or whatever, and you want to check up on things, you can use this portal. Also, some mobile apps that I'll show you here in just a second to be able to keep up with your operations. So one thing I want to show you, let's say that a customer calls you up and says, hey, I'm missing a ticket. I'm missing a ticket from today or I'm missing a ticket from two years ago or whatever it may be. The place to find that ticket is here in the ticket query. Now, I remember the days of people calling saying, you know, I had a ticket from two years ago, it's ticket number or blah, 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 or whatever, and, and I can't find it. I need a copy of that ticket. And so that, then I would have to go back into the Connex, the storage building, and go through boxes of paper tickets and uh, filter through all the tickets that are, that are crumpled up and things like that and find those tickets. We don't have to do that anymore with Fastway because we're going to store your tickets in the portal forever so that when a customer calls, you can find that ticket pretty easy or you can give them access to be able to find that ticket so they don't have to call you and find that ticket. So it's really easy to come to the, the query here, enter your search parameters, whatever they may be. I'm just going to pull in all the tickets for today and we should see that ticket 25 at the top. There it is, 870025. So that's that ticket we printed at 126 here in the web portal. Now, as I slide across, you're going to see some good information about that ticket, all of the, the customer, the product, and, and, and all that stuff, but also too over here. So if a um, customer needed that ticket, they would just come over here and, and click on this right here. And that is an actual copy of the ticket that was created at the scale house, complete with signatures, pictures, and, and everything that needs to be on it. But also too, that image, we store that image here in the web portal as well. In any signatures, we store that here in the web portal. So that's really a powerful tool to be able to find whatever information you need. Now, I said that you can find this on the web portal, but I also mentioned that we have some mobile tools. And let me show you that real quick. I'm gonna get my, my phone pulled up, if it's still awake. Yep, there it is. So we have a free app, it's, a mo it's called Mobile Management. And what this is, this is like the web portal, but just the, the web portal dashboard just condensed down into mobile form. Anybody that has access to the web portal can have access to this app. So when they log in, they're going to see this dashboard screen right here, and they're going to be able to see quickly the activity that's going, going on at their location or locations. Okay, and you can see at my location, I've done four tickets for 87 tons. It was last updated. Uh, looks like the last ticket we did may, might have on this partic particular project might have been yesterday. Um, 
No, actually, today is the 23rd. Sorry about that. That was today. Anyway, um, so you can see that information there. Also, too, you can break it down a little bit more and say, OK, I want to look at my specific products I've sold, or maybe I want to look at the specific jobs that are, that are going on right now. So we've got one job that has five loads throughout our, our time span here for 109 tons. OK, the other thing that we can do with this, this app is pretty neat and unique. If I click on tickets here at the bottom, I'm going to be able to see all the tickets that have been printed for my specific login. And right now, I think I'm logged in as a DOT personnel. So I'm going to be able to see all the tickets for this specific job, this I-75 widening job. OK, so all those tickets are right there. If I need to find a ticket and look at the ticket, I can click on the ticket right there and there's a copy of the ticket. So that's that ticket we printed just a few minutes ago. So you can have that original copy of the ticket right there on your phone. This is really good for anybody, but really good for truck drivers that maybe they've lost their ticket and they're driving down the road, they get stopped, they need to produce their ticket. They, <laughs> it flew out the window or whatever. Well, they got their phone right here and they can pull that ticket up and show this actual you know, way ticket right here and the, the DOT personnel can see it right there immediately. So that's a really good tool for the truck driver to have. Not only a truck driver, anybody that needs access to the tickets. It's a really cool tool, tool to have. I'll show you one more thing about this app and then we'll go back to the web portal and, and talk about a couple of things. So with this app, Clay mentioned proof of delivery and how that's the future of our industry and, and where we're going is that proof of delivery. So we have this proof of delivery tab here. And with this proof of delivery tab, whoever you choose to be able to do the receiving of the loads can have this app right here and they can do the receiving. It, it, maybe it's the customer at the job site and as the loads come in, they do the receipt of that load. Maybe it's the truck driver as he delivers the material doing the receipt of that load. So when that load gets there, all they do is click on that ticket. They're going to be able to get a signature right there. Uh, take a picture. Uh, I'm not going to take a picture today, but we can take a picture of the load being delivered right there. And then as soon as all that is done, all we do is click this little disc right here in the top right. That completes that proof of delivery process. So now we've, you know, we know the time and the date uh, in who received the load, but also too, we've got a geotag of where that truck was when he delivered that material so that we know, in fact, it was at this location when it was delivered. Okay, so that's the app. Now going back over to the web portal, we're gonna be able to see that information. And I think I've got enough time. I'll just do this very quickly. We come back here to the delivery query. I say really quickly, there we go. Um, we come over here to the, to the delivery query. And we're gonna pull up all of the tickets that have been delivered. So there's that ticket right there that I just received. And you can see all the information about that ticket coming across the screen here. Here is that, you know, the time and date, the person that received it. Here's that geotag right here of where we delivered that material coming up on the map here any second now. So again, I said I'm moving and I've got stuff strode all over the place. So I'm kind of far away from my, my router. But anyway, so there it is right there, the, the, the signal or the, um, the marker right there. Okay. So back here on the web portal, so I'm going to just show you a couple of other things uh, that are pretty neat to me. I'm going to go across the top. We talked about being vertically integrated, and we've got all the tools that you might need all contained in one system rather than having to do bolt-on systems. So we've got this loadout feature, you know, checking trucks in as they come into to the job site or to the quarry and things like that. So we can track our efficiencies of time from they, when they've entered to the time they get loaded to the time they check out. We can track those efficiencies through that. The ticket uh, query and delivery query, we showed you that already. We, saw, we also have a quotes module. So your salespeople can do quotes and send those quotes to customers. But then the good thing about it is, as soon as those quotes are accepted, all we have to do is click an award button and it turns that quote into an order. Okay, and that's this, this tab right here, the order tab, where we set up these jobs, these orders for customers. For Spectrum and Vista, you know, Clay talked about the job costing and things like that. If you have your internal jobs there, we can directly link to those internal jobs so that when we do our billing and things like that, we can push all of that cost directly to job cost instead of creating an invoice and having to go in there and fix things and move things around in Spectrum or Vista. Inventory, we can handle your inventories at your site. We've got the truck tabs where you can do some neat things with the trucks like assignments and, and different things like that. Dispatching, 
So we, we mentioned we're, we're trucking aggregate and construction. So there's the, the trucking component. We can do dispatch and uh, track. And I think it's important to mention that we have some customers that just primarily use Fastway as a trucking application with the app, with the apps and things like that. So, you know, I know there's different types of customers and different types of companies in this presentation today. So uh, it's, it's a very powerful product, right, BJ? Yep, exactly. We have a lot of people using it and they, they really like it. It really streamlines a, a lot of their processes for them. We have some that just use it just to dispatch and some that use it to dispatch and to track their truck. So it really is a powerful tool for you to use. Billing, um, this is where we, we, we take all the tickets and get it prepped and get it ready to send over to Spectrum or Vista. So we are doing two other uh, demos coming up specifically on Spectrum for one and then another one specifically on Vista. We'll dive deeper into this component component on those two demos as they relate to Spectrum and Vista specifically. All our pay, so if you have third-party trucks, we can create statements uh, to show us how much we owe those third-party trucks and we can send those statements out to the, to the trucking companies along with their checks saying, hey, here's all your loads, here's how much we owe you, here's your check. Reporting, so we do have traditional reports that we can run, you know, uh, you know, daily ticket count or something like that. We can run <clears throat> those reports. We do offer some flexibility within the reporting to be able to group and sort your reports before you create them. But it, it's, it's typical reports that you would see with, with other systems. But also too, and I'll show you this in just a second, analytics. That's a really cool tool, tool that I'll show you here in just a second. And then finally, the resources. <clears throat> and we'll again, dive into this deeper on the specific demos or Vista and Spectrum, but this is where you, you do all of your sucking in customers and products and different things like that and setting up the, those aspects of, um, of your system. So real quick, let's move over to analytics and I'm gonna show you a couple of analytics tabs here. So if you're a person that likes to see charts and graphs and then be able to drill down in, into the information from those, then analytics is something you'll, you'll probably really like. Um, we have a lot of different categories for analytics, I'm looking at the production category right now, but you can see the location overview. Clay likes the location overview pretty well. He can see all of his different uh, quarries or his jobs or his uh, plant sites or whatever it may be here. And then he can see the activity at each. So we've done you know 26 tickets here at this Birmingham quarry. If I wanted to drill down into that, I could drill down into that. And you can see in, in chart form and graph form right here, the different information. And we have these different tabs through here that you can use as well. I want to show you something though here on this one. So this is the hauler and truck uh, category and specifically the hauler and truck activity report. So this is some, what I'm about to show you here is something that might take a long time to find in just traditional reporting. And I just actually just saw this today when I, when I opened this up, but I see an inefficiency in here and I see it pretty quickly. So this report right here tells us that we have all these tickets and all these tons going out. And this is the freight amount, the amount that we're charging the customer. The hauler pay amount is the amount we're giving to the truck drivers to help us with that haul. Typically you want this to be, this hauler pay number to be less than your freight amount. But what we see right here is we see a problem. I see that I'm actually paying out more to my drivers for freight than I'm collecting from my customer. So that lets me know that I've probably reversed my numbers and I put the number in the freight that should have been in the hauler pay and the hauler pay that should have been in the freight. So I can very quickly and very easily find that out through the analytics. So it, it's things like that that the analytics help you see. It's, it's yes, how much have we sold? Yes, all this stuff, but also too, inefficiencies stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, this is perfectly red right here. So we know that this is, this or is improvements in the business, right? You yeah, know. exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's the analytics. And, and with that, that that's a, a brief overview of our system. Again, we're going to get into it deeper on two other demos coming up for, for Spectrum and Vista. But that's just a, a brief snapshot and overview of, of Fastway. Yeah, BJ, <clears throat> thank you very much for giving us that overview. I, I hope it was helpful, folks. I think the one thing I would say about uh, just that quick overview is that we're really only, you know, hitting the tip of the iceberg uh, when we're showing you and talking about some of these things. Um, as we dive deeper, you know, into the product, 
things like, you know, Bluetooth beacons on job sites or where, where we can manage real-time deliveries without interaction. And some of this has become important in COVID. We're actually, um, we've done some business in Washington. It's one of the first state legislatures to pass laws of, you know, not really having inter any interaction at these job sites. So, you know, times are changing, uh, not everywhere, but they are changing. And so Fastway is very well positioned to uh, adapt to these new technologies as they, as they're needed and, and warranted. Um, again, just scr scratch the surface. Uh, it's, a, it's a full spectrum product. So a little bit more, you know, about just real quick, moving to a product like Fastway, if you are in a legacy product, or if you're in a product that you're looking to change, or, you know, perhaps uh, th there's been reservations, you know, gosh, this was difficult the first time, we don't want to go through it again, or the last upgrade we did was <clears throat> extremely difficult and we've got a lot of investment in this. It's all understandable. Uh, the thing is, is that migrating to something like Fastway is so simple, especially if you're a Vista Spectrum user. Um, our, our ability to take that existing data, that existing customer data, the, the existing pricing data, the product constituents, whatever it might be, and actually marry that up to Fastway is a overnight process. So uh, we really uh, relieve a lot of the pressure in this relationship that we have with Viewpoint and the integration that we've been able to do. Um, <clears throat> we can really get you up and running in days. You know, it's interesting when you're rolling out a large operation and uh, you're not even going on site to bring a scale live. You know, you're actually bringing that scale uh, up and operational within an hour and, and actually, you know, bringing trucks across it in the next hour. And all of the training is so easy. Uh, it, it's a remarkable, it's a remarkable play for the marketplace. We're very excited about it because uh, the ease of use is, is really truly unprecedented and the ease of getting the system up and running. So, uh, we're, we're definitely in a good position to help you transform your operations uh, and move it to the cloud. So again, thank you so much. Our next webinar is gonna really focus on how these integrations work. And so we're gonna dig down into the nitty gritty and we're going to really show how that data flows between both systems and how it operates. And I think it's gonna begin to open up uh, the box a little bit more for you to understand the power of this uh, this platform, these two platforms working together, these two companies uh, bringing this type of solution to the marketplace. And on Wednesday, July 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be focusing on the Spectrum product. And then Wednesday, July 28th, uh, we're going to be focusing on the Vista product. And so we look forward to that. Hope that you join us, depending on which one you're using. And I think you'll find it valuable. I truly, truly do. Uh, it's, it's a fascinating integration. And it's very, very powerful. So with that said, um, BJ, I think, do you have access to anybody that might have asked a question? Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any questions right now. Feel free to ask any questions that you uh, may have. I will, while we're waiting on people to type those questions, I will say this, and I think we've recorded this. So um, if you want a copy of this when, when we're done, just let us know. And I think we could email a, a copy of this uh, recorded demo to you, no problem. And. Uh, if you have any questions about, you know, if you want to really do a deeper dive of what an integration might look like uh, prior to these dates, feel free to contact us too. It's no problem at all. We, we actually have some great videos that we've produced that we can send you and uh, get you a little bit more acquainted with what this might look like. Um, any questions, BJ? Yeah, I'm still not seeing any right now. So. Okay. I guess we, we just did such a good job of explaining. You knocked everything. it out of the park, my friend. <laughs> so, uh, well, again, folks, thank you so much. Uh, we're, we're coming up at, right at 45 minutes. Uh, we wanted to leave a little time here for questions and answers. Uh, my name's Clay Bowman. I'm the director of business development. Uh, please feel free to contact me, C Bowman at tacinsight, T A C insight.com. Uh, we'll be happy to follow up with you, anything that you need or any question that you might have. Um, we'll just give it one more chance, BJ. Any questions? Yeah, still don't, still don't have any questions. Okay. 
folks, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate your time and we thank Viewpoint for helping us host this and bring this uh, to you. Uh, thank you so much, Viewpoint. We appreciate you. And uh, everybody have a wonderful afternoon. We look forward to seeing you or talking to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.